how to run and compile your Java code right from Notepad. If you create or write your Java code on Notepad or Textpad. So I'm going to open Notepad. Alright, so of course this is the page where you're gonna have your assignments, questions. But for now I'm going to create a simple small program just to show you. So in Java we say public right class hello. I'm going to write a program to say hello pretty much. So open the curly braces, you tap it. Remember, let's review the rubrics again. Your code is easy to read by using space, new line, indent, right? So like that I indent it, right? Public static void main string ARGS, right? Of course you, you want to make sure you have the comments. If you don't have you not gonna get that credit comments, comments here, right? So comments I taught you that there are two type of comments, right? At the where class levels, right? What do you try to do at the class level? You try to explain what's the point of this program, right? So and you put the author name too, right? And the date, right? So that's you always need to do. Right. So I'm gonna put today date. And ah, uh, program right. The purpose of the program right. So sometimes this is a place where you put the the license to use this application. Okay. Now to print hello to console. Okay, so I'm going to do that by just say system dot out dot print. So if you have the commands you get that points too. Very easy point, ten points there. Now hello. Alright, I'm gonna save this. Now this is a critical point now. You said you already have the code how to run this, right? First you need to have your JDK installed, right? So to check that, of course you can just look through your browse to see program files Java right JDK that's my JDK I want to get the latest update 67 on my machine and I have it under bin where's Java C is there we talk about what's Java C is this Java compiler right now where should I ins uh, save this file and what should be a file name? Hello should be the file name because file name should be the same as your class name, right? And I can save it anywhere if I can set the path of my Java C. Right? So if you have issue with setting the path, you can save in this location, which is not recommended. Okay. Now let's save the file onto my Time drive. I have for this class. I'm going to say hello dot Java. Of course, we have to put dot Java inside of quotations. If you don't put, then you have to do all files. Otherwise, sometimes it's append dot txt as a text file. So that's why I put quotation. Dot Java is important because we tell it as the Java file. Now next we are ready to compile correct? So we go to open our CMD. Why did I save my file? I have to browse to that location correct? Now first before I do compiling I'm going to change the path to that location. I have it under my thumb drive which is under G, right? So G colon. 
So I just switch to my G drive. Now I have it under CD Nova Fall 2014, and I have it CD stand for Chain Directory, right? CSC 200. Yeah, now I can just do Java C followed by the file name that I just saved to hello.java. Enter. So it's compiling. Okay, so so these are the steps that I want to see when you show it to me today before the end of the class. If you cannot do this, then you get zero. And I just rewait for you. And recording the video, I'm going to publish soon. Now, make sure you can do this. Now, since I have it on my flash drive, that's why it takes some time to compile and running here. Alright, so there's no errors here. So there's no message for errors. We're going to run this by using Java and followed by the name. Right? Because if there's no errors, I want you to check on your drive. You see that it's just create dot class, right? Now when I call Java hello, it's pretty much just call this dot class. And I do enter. And I just print hello. So that's it. This is the output screen that you guys show. Alright, so alright, so I just show you we complete with the Java, we compile it, we run it. So now we want to uh, save it into our GitHub, right? So yeah, first let's let's create a repository for it. So where do you go? GitHub, right? You know this uh, GitHub should be a good place for yourself as your portfolio as a programmer. Okay. This is just like YouTube, people subscribe, people watch, people know you. Okay. And employers gonna hire you through this too. So you should keep that. Alright, so I'm going to first create the repository to store that, correct? I'm gonna name it what should I name it? Hello. Okay. Relevant to my topic, right? Hello project. Okay. So let's get the readme. Okay, then we just test to see if it's showing up. So first we need to uh, clone, right? Do we need to clone first? Yes, and what's the command for clone? Git clone, right? Anybody put the... I asked you to put the command, right, on discussion board. I think somebody did, right? Git command. Git for git command. Alright, let's do that for git command. Okay. Thanks. So now we go go to we copy this right. I'm going. Of course, you need to install Git batch, right? I'm going to run. Mm. That's the problem with my machine here. So after create the repository, I want to install my Git. So go to Git right. Download Git. So this time I'm going to test to install my thumb drive, okay? So maybe next time I don't have to install again. I'm going to do the simple one here. Okay, so it should take a while. 